Hi, I'm Andreas. This is part six of my robot arm project. And today I will focus on the control loop of this DC motor for the shoulder joint. Um, as you may know from the previous videos, I uh, my first attempt was to build a robot arm fully stepper motor driven. And it failed during uh, due to the fact that stepper motors provide not enough torque for their mass. So I switched to DC motors, especially at the shoulder joint here. Uh, the problem with DC motors is they can control it as easily as stepper motors. If you have a stepper motor, it makes and say the stepper motor should make one step, it rotates on a certain angle. Well, the DC motor can turn on and off and it rotates something about uh, some RPMs. So you need an encoder or something to measure your accurate precision. I installed already one I had from a previous project left. And this is an AS5045 magnet encoder and it's directly mounted to the screw uh, which holds uh, the rest of the robot arm. Uh, the motor itself is a uh, Bainbot uh, gearbox with a standard motor. It consumes uh, about four, and a four amps if it's not heavy loaded. So um, a little bit too much for the stand, uh, most common used L298 motor drivers. So I ordered some new, but they will take it some time until they arrive. So I borrowed a little bigger motor controller board from a, from a friend. And this one is designed to drive two 500 watt scooter motors. So it should be uh, enough to drive my small uh, DC motor here. It has about 40 watts. So let's wire it up and let it run. Okay, I managed to wire up everything together. It took a while. I also mounted the robot to a new plate. Um, I'm using two pots here uh, to set the angle and uh, the motors will run uh, to this position. This is a simple Arduino Leonardo. You can use a Uno or something else. And the cables go through the motor controller and to the encoders here and here. The encoders are currently uh, a prototype I built for another project. They are not the final design. I made some new PCBs and uh, if they arrive I will do an extra video about the encoders, how they work and how you can use and adjust them. Um, so let's uh, take a look at uh, some code this is where you, you can download them here uh, it's for EPROM uh, because I'm a lazy person and don't want to save every byte by my own um, the AS5045 encoder library um, this one works fine uh, if you want to use a single encoder at a, a, some random pins. For my later approach I will daisy chain the encoders so you can simply stick one to another and use the hardware SPI interface so I have to rewrite them. A PID library for controlling and the timer libraries um, because I'm a lazy person. And Actually here are the pin definitions that is not something not uh, special. Uh, this is the settings for the 
PHD con P these are the settings for the PID controller. Um, um, I used random uh, re used some parameters by just playing a little bit around and it works for now. Uh, here we have uh, the setup routine. There's also nothing special. Um, something important is uh, these encoders generate a, or a provide an absolute position. Um, during my design, uh, the, it's a little bit hard to know where north and south of this magnet is. So you don't know exactly where uh, um, the zero point of your encoder is, so you need an offset. I store the offset in the EEPROM from the Arduino, so I have to uh, not to adjust this every time. This is just uh, the interesting part begins here. Uh, I uh, read uh, the value from the encoder and calculate the offset. As I mentioned, uh, uh, they can be stored, and uh, so you have to do it uh, to measure the offset o only one time, and then it will work. Uh, this is the set point. Uh, currently I'm using a simple trim pot where you can set an angle and this, this is the set point for the motor. In later use uh, you just put there an uh, angle and the robot arm will move to this position. Here we are calculating the PID values and uh, give uh, set the motor PWM. Uh, motor PWM is simply done by the timer library. You can also use the analog wi uh, write function from Arduino, but this will result in a very noisy and loud uh, um, s beeping or summing because the PWM frequency is very low. So uh, left and right and basically that's all. Uh, it controls two motors by two encoders. I put this uh, code for download. Uh, look at the link in the description. So, um, let's run. As you noticed, if I rotate the pod, the uh, arm will automatically follow. A uh, little bit of problem.
So, I'm quite happy with the results of the new construction. The DT motors were, are incredibly strong and fast. The controlling is quite simple. So I'm very uh, hopeful that um, the project will go on and we can grasp something in the near future. That's it for now. I hope you liked the video. If you want to be up to date about this whole robot arm project, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you never miss a new development. And for some other awesome project, visit my blog. Bye.